Hello YouTubers and non-followers. I thought that I'd do some unpacking today from my hotel room in Istanbul. Um, so I've got two things to show you. I've got a purchase from Louis Vuitton, which was made at Terminal 5 at Heathrow. Um, that's why the bag looks a bit battered because it's kind of been in my hand baggage and, and on the plane. And a really great bargain that I got at Lacoste today. Um, so we'll start off with the Louis Vuitton one because that's the one that I'm excited about. So um went to Terminal 5 Heathrow yesterday on the way out to Istanbul. Um, what can I say about it? It is a fantastic shop. It's absolutely enormous. It's probably bigger than some of the Louis Vuittons uh, in London, Birmingham, Manchester, etc. Um, I booked an appointment for 9am. Um, I arrived about 25 minutes before then and they couldn't have been more accommodating. They were absolutely fantastic. So I just sat there and um, talked through the things that I was kind of looking at and, and maybe wanted um, on the pretense that I knew I was only going to treat myself to one thing. Um, obviously, obviously, they're not the, the cheapest things in the world to buy. Um, so here we go. It's in a, of, of course, with Louis Vuitton, it's in an absolutely divine box. I'm just going to reach back over and grab the receipt out so I can talk to you through the, the price as well. So with Louis Vuitton um, in the airport, and because I was flying to Turkey, this actually ended up being duty free which is absolutely phenomenal. Um, it was a huge saving in the end. Uh, I was going to wait until I got here to do a bit of shopping, but I'm really, really glad. I'm just trying to get it open while I was talking to you. So it's in a slide box, a little pool there, um, which is a really nice touch actually. It keeps it really neat um, and together, especially because I was going on a plane. Um, for those of you that have not been on a plane yet, it was absolutely fine. Uh, obviously, face masks all around. Um, it was very safe, um, very cool, and it was just, yeah, it was fine. Um, I think everyone's a little bit nervous at the moment, but it's, um, it's something that we've got to uh, get going again, the economy, I guess. So um, here we have it. So it's a beautiful pink square scarf. So it's composed of... I think the lady said yesterday, a high percentage of silk and wool. And um, when we've got it out of the box, I'll have a look at it though. And I'll tell you the composition. Um, unfortunately, because I'm away at the moment, I don't have a tape measure with me. So I can't tell you the exact dimensions, but I can have a really good guess at it. So as you can see, it's an absolutely gorgeous, and it comes up really well on the camera actually, um, square scarf. Um, I'm so, so excited for this. It's... um. I'm just going to I'm just going to unfold it completely so you can see my feet. Good job I've uh, got my toes painted for once in my life. Um, <laughs> and a nice long um sofa thing at the end of the bed in the hotel. You know when you go in a hotel and they have really random pieces of furniture, but actually it's ended up coming really handy. So you can see there that it's uh obviously it's got the typical Louis Vuitton uh, logo there and all the lovely uh, logos here but it's also got a really nice edging here and um, a really nice kind of um, tasseled edges here so I'm not going to open it up completely uh, because it will be absolutely enormous and I won't be able to fit it but I'm just going to stand back a minute so that you can see so this is the end of my bed sofa there's my battery back for my phone um, because it needs charging and it is so twice the size of that. So if I unfold it again, it will be a really big, uh, really big scarf. So you can use it in lots of different ways. Um, I'm going to use it when it gets a bit cooler um, with my with my coats and you know just really accessorize it. Let me try and find the label with the composition on it. Ugh. If not, I'll put it in the comments after the video has ended. Uh, I don't believe this has got a label on it, obviously, um, because it's such a beautiful piece. You wouldn't expect it to be covered in labels, although I can feel one. Oh, there we go. So if I just take that label away a second, which has got the price on it. Um, you can see here, that it is, yeah, 60% silk, 40% wool. So it's dry clean only, as you would expect for something that's made out of silk and wool. Um, so no chucking it in the washing machine. 
Um, but also, what I wanted to talk to you about was a fantastic price. So it's not on here. They're normally on, on this bit of the label, but it's not on this one because they had to go and get this one from the uh, the stock room because they didn't have it out on the shop floor. I'm just going to stand back so you can have another look at it. It is just divine. I'm just going to grab the, uh, again, really nice touch. They're just kind of really... Um, the little touches, I think that's what makes the shopping so nice in there. Um, did ask her to not use any staples because I, I just find them really wasteful, but bless her. Um, so, yeah, here we have it. So normally this piece is £405. Um, as you can see, because it was duty free, because it was in the airport and coming out to Turkey, it was £337. So that's a huge saving of... 63 add five 68 pounds <laughs> again i've got calculator and and i'm just trying to do this off the cuff so there we have it um if i was to have a guess at how big this scarf is i'd say it's at least wow two meters by two meters so absolutely outstanding considering it's made out of silk and wool as well um i will get the i will get the dimensions for you i'll get them off the website and i'll put it in the comments um but that's that i'm just going to try and put that neatly away and um, so i don't want to have to iron it because i'd be scared of um <laughs> i'd be scared of burning it i just actually there's two little things that i did want to show you that i got with there's little freebies i got a couple of little snellies from louis vuitton got one there called california dream California dreaming on a winter's day. No, no, didn't think I was singing the right song. And then this one, which I am struggling to pronounce. Um, but you can see it for yourself there. There we go. Uh, apologies for the singing. I'm, I'm not a particularly good singer, but I enjoy it. Um, so, yeah, I've been to the mall today in Istanbul. So the pound is really really strong against the lira at the minute so some really good bargains to be had um i've been to uh, lacoste um not normally a big fan of lacoste it's kind of a bit sporty for me but I, I had a quick look because well why not i'm there i'm having a little wander around the mall and i found this absolutely fantastic kind of informal top that i can't wait to wear um so uh, let's have a look but it, and it's overall so it's just a, a black top and it's got like some really nice kind of pleating detail there it's got some short sleeves so i'd say they're probably cap sleeves um, the way that it comes under the arm there and um, this is a size 38 which is a uk 10 uh, let's have a quick look at what it's made out of i should really check these things out before i come on video shouldn't i but i think it makes it more fun Trying to find out at exactly the same time as you. Okay. Hmm. Right. Well, it tells me to wash it at 30 degrees. So that's interesting to know. Uh, because everything in my washing machine goes in on the same um, same wash, which is 40 degrees anyway. All right. There we are. So it's 95% viscose and 5% elastane. So that's going to keep its shape really well. It's going to keep me nice and cool. I don't know if you can see it there, but it's just got a really cute Lacoste badge on the front there. Nothing too, like, in your face. I'm just going to flip it over so you can have a look at the back of it. Back of it. But... Try and talk properly. Um, nothing really to report about the back. It just looks like the back of a T-shirt. So price-wise, this was 299 lira. So 299 lira, I think it says there, although my Turkish is not great, 25% off. So 299 lira, I think is about 30 pounds. I think there's roughly about 10 lira to the pound at the moment, which is fantastic. Um, but all in all, yep, a really nice top. It's going to look great with jeans. It's going to look great with trainers. It's going to look great with anything, really. So they're my two purchases from today. I hope you enjoyed the video from my hotel room in Istanbul. Um... Stay safe, everyone, whether you're on your travels or staycationing. Um, if you liked this video or you want any more information um, or you want to see my future videos, then please feel free to press subscribe. Um, yeah, have a good one. Bye.